Hey y'all, this is Crookalicious checking in with another episode of the Red Wars mod. This is episode number I can't remember. I realize that there's a chair right here. Oh. Wow. I should kind of surprise I missed that in the, in the prep to get the video ready. Whoops, that's okay. Anyways, I kind of forgot what episode this is. I, I forgot to actually check which one it is. I know last time I said I might want to play this a little bit on my own, but I can't, I'm kind of curious if we can take Tear. So one thing I'm actually going to do is, because we can hold 190 men, is I'm going to go around and recruit some more men. Even their own men. Oh, this place doesn't like me. Probably collected taxes from them at one point. And then I'm going to go and clean them up and take out Tear. Or at least try to. I know the Nords are actually pretty good at a lot of things. Um, and not only that, but there's several armies that like to pass by here. It's not a pretty... Like, it's not an easy place to come in and just take. But we did take it once before. And I want to see if I can take it again. Tell me you're not going to stop in here. Keep on running by. There's nothing to see here. Andrew, Charles, why? Whoa, oh, there goes Andrew, Charles. Uh, let's actually see if we can recruit any men from Tier. Can I do anything against them, actually? Now that I think about it, I need to actually, like, attack one of the vassals. So maybe I won't want to attack that one vassal, then. Wandering Bard. Good of the council. What does that mean? Oh, this gives council about how to get prisoners and such. Okay, that's boring. Uh, um, I'll hire one of those guys. Whatever. Okay, uh, let's actually leave the place then. And let's see if we can go attack that one uh, lord if we want to. I don't know if that's a smart move, but it's a move nonetheless. <laughs> oh man, sometimes I wonder what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> because we are out on our own. And really, this is a good way to get in the, the heat of everything really quick. Um, so let's uh, do this. Surrender or die. What's my reason for attacking you? For the fun of it! <laughs> yeah, that's a great reason, guys. Great reason. Okay, let's see if they come towards us. I'm actually really curious if they do. I kinda don't feel like they will. Um, we, we spawned in on a low ground situation, so I kinda wanna move up a little bit higher up, so let's, uh, let's keep moving my men back a little bit. We'll see what they do in terms of retaliation. They are forming up a line. If anything, I'm going to go to the left and continue to get the high ground, if at all possible. Um, I do not like being on low ground. I find it very useless a lot of times. We got first blood on our team. Well, I didn't, but our team got first blood, so take that, Nords. Killed two of you so far. We are going to be victorious easily, hands down. But anyways, we'll be able to siege uh, Tier hopefully, um, after this. And since it only has 190 men, we actually might be able to take it. Maybe. Maybe. So, anyways, I'm, I'm excited about that, if that's the case. Um, I love my custom banner, guys. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. I think my logo looks pretty cool. Some people may beg to differ. I kind of like the... The gray on gray because it kind of just um, sets sets like a little tone of hey, this is a casual gameplay place. All right, let's move it up. If I get hit, I'm gonna be ticked off, guys. Nice. There's another kill by my men. Hey, I hit somebody finally. I kind of want to see if I can. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Alright, I guess we can move my men further up then. Continue to move them up to the top of this hill, in fact. So, I don't want to get hit. 
Um, so I'm gonna be as careful as possible right there. That's good. Okay. I hit somebody again. There are miracles happening. I did receive two damage though. That was not a miracle. And we're losing a few men right now. Which isn't good. We do not want to lose many men at all. Um, I do not want to shoot my own men by accident either. Um, I wonder if they're going to start charging forward with their banners. You know, this is kind of dangerous. I think the Nords are actually a little bit more powerful than I am kind of giving them credit for. Um, and you know one way that we can keep all you vassals probably is actually making you guys lords at some point. Just a thought I had. Okay, I got a kill right there. That's always nice to see. We've got our firing squad set up now. It's at the point where it is a firing squad. Let's be real. Anybody else left? Charge. Oh, I feel bad for that one dude. <laughs> All right. Anyways, we took out that army. Pretty good, actually, too. I mean, we lost four men, which is not not great, but I would say that's actually not too bad either. Um, let's take him prisoner. It'll help us get a little bit of money to uh, uh, looters. So yeah, that's that's a great unit to have. Um, do they even level up at all? Let's actually see. Yeah, they do. But nothing like amazing. I don't know if they turn into um, other the units, but hey, it's free and oh, whatever. We they'll probably die eventually, anyways. Uh, we do need some more food here soon, so let's go take out Tierra if we can, and then after we take out Tierra, then we can um, sell all the stuff, get some more money, get some more food. Oh, we actually do have quite a bit of food. And it doesn't look like we can actually sell the vodka, which is kind of annoying. Or consume it. Maybe we can, I don't know. Okay, we've got 276 um, money items. I'm just kidding. I actually don't know what the money currency is right now off the top of my head. I keep uh, denies. Okay. Let's uh, let's uh, level up everybody that we can. we got Sean, who has leveled up. Let's uh, talk to you about your skills and improve your rifle skills and then what else let's let's give you some more strength because we're gonna need them this next battle here um in terms of everything else you're really good at pathfinding and a lot of stuff um let's put tactics in I, I wonder if that'll help me out in the long run okay um and then we'll level you guys up you and you and you sure um Let's just go for the salt. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know which one's the best ones, honestly. Uh, let's go for thug. Sure. Okay, <laughs> we got excellent morale, which is good. We're gonna need it. Um, let's come here to Tierra. Let's besiege it. Prepare ladders to go against the walls, and let's make sure hopefully nobody comes in and attacks us because that could be a very likely possibility, and that would be very rough. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we actually made it, guys. We actually might be able to take out this town. Lead your soldiers in an assault. Okay, this is where it gets rough. I can't die. I can't die. I if I die, then this whole operation is dead too. All right, let's uh, stay back here. I love how I'm missing, and there's like a huge group of them. Of course, I am just aiming at the group, but still, let's aim at these guys in the back so we can take off their sniping ability. Nice, got two so far. But yeah, these guys are the ones actually shooting at us, so it'll be good to take them out. Okay, got that guy out. Okay, got that guy out. Perfect. Alright, this guy's charging in. Nice. That guy's gone. That guy's not gone yet. Near is that guy. Oh, I got another guy. Yes! 
Got another guy, boom! And my proficiency in the gun is moving on up, which is great. Yeah, take that and that. Yeah, I wonder why sometimes the sieges don't work and why sometimes they do work. Um, I may have to auto-resolve some of those in the forts, but that's okay. Hey, it looks like I actually did a pretty decent job. Um, we only lost 26 men, which is actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Can I, let's see if we can actually gather some of this stuff up. Oh, our, our inventory's full, that's right. I forgot. Well, I can run around with the Nordic flag for a little bit then. Yeah, we took up Nord... <laughs> Nordia. <laughs> Not, anyways. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, since we have a bunch of ragtag, a bunch of men, I'm going to hire these guys anyways. Um, they're going to be pretty good units to have in our army, and not only that, but they can do a lot of good things. So I am looking forward to that. So let's uh, let's keep getting the actual units first. Uh, we got a camp follower. Do they level up in anything? Let's, uh, let's actually hire her real quick. Promote to Huntress. Um, I'm guessing peasant women is that level. Can't follow her up. Eh, sure, they they do stuff, I guess. But I mean, if we ever have an opportunity to recruit more, I guess we might want to consider that route. Um, we'll get some farmers. What do the farmers become? Simple mercenaries. Sure, why not? You guys are all free. And not only that, but I really need to defend this place now, so... <laughs> uh, yeah! We got ourselves our first town, guys. Let's get some more thugs. We're such a ragtag bunch of people, too. It's awesome. Alright, um, loving up all the men real quick. I know we're going to get more experience afterwards and going to have to do it anyways, but it never hurts having more. Um, we have everything we need, I guess, but I could maybe return some of my grain and, like, kind of swap it out. Same with cabbage. Um, because then we can, uh, get more money and then get more food as a result, too. So, I mean... Like, that cheese was basically used up and gone anyways. Um, let's see here. Um, that grain's about gone. That grain's really about gone, so let's, uh, swap that out. We are definitely gonna need to get some more food, though. I'm gonna leave a little bit of this. Um, but this is gonna really help out a lot. I mean, we only have Tierra right now that we can actually, um, sell our stuff and goods for. So anyways, we have got our first kingdom. Um... In the comments below, let me know what you guys want to call it. Um, please do, um, and then we'll I'll consider some names and go from there with that. <laughs> I want it for myself. It didn't even give me an option. Um, okay, we can appoint somebody to be. Play yourself existing. First priority should be to establish an independent right to rule. You can establish a right to rule by marrying a yada 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 yada. Chief Minister. Who should I appoint Chief Minister? Hmm. Should I get Luciano Velez? I really like your name. Uh, you're hired. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I uh, promote people because I think your name's cool. <laughs> like, right? Oh, gosh. That'd be that'd be a fun one. Uh, manage garrison. We have no garrison. So we're a pretty easy target for anybody. Okay. Um, let's go into the marketplace real quick. Let's go to the goods merchant. Um, only has 98. That's not good. Let's go to the arms. 15. Are you. Oh, freak. <laughs> oh, well, guys, I already came here to sell stuff, and as a result, oh, I'm starting to regret it. There's one gun. Wow. 
Well. Yay, we got 79 denies. Yay. Okay, um, let's manage the garrison real quick. We need to drop off some people. We got some more people that are ready to level up, which is good to see. Um, that's the nice thing about this game is you can level up people really fast. And I really like that about it. Um, and not only that, but you can usually get a lot of people pretty quickly too. So that's always a great plus. Um, let's see here. We got a lot of sergeants right here. So let's uh, give quite a few of you away. Let's go down to 25 in my party. Yes, I'm going to have a small size party. And that's dangerous in its own right. Um, but if we want to keep this place, we're going to need to leave some good units here. And I might actually leave my simple mercenaries, farmers, I mean, yeah, they don't really do a whole lot, but they provide a distraction and a bullet for any attacking armies, which is, which could be a good help. Let's give some, give the thugs away. I'm going to give all you guys away, looters, yeah, whatever. Um, so we're down to 126, which means we've given um, basically 50, almost 50. So we're going to keep giving some more men away. And we're going to keep some for ourselves. Let's, uh, I actually give a little bit more here. Let's go down to 10. Yeah, we're going to be a small party size. But my plan is to go recruit real quick and try to train up the men as quick as possible because, man, we're going to need it. I mean, we basically declared war against a faction that's advancing and growing. I mean, that's scary in its own right. We're, like, right in the middle of everybody, too. So, like, we might have war declared against us pretty rapidly here soon. Um, oh, I was going to leave us with ten. That works, too. Um... Let's give a few of you guys away, a few sharpshooters. Okay, I think I will go down to 50 and call it good there. Um, I'll give you guys away. Uh, you guys are good in melee, so yeah, I'll give you guys good away as well. Alright, that's good. That's good for right now. We need to go recruit as quickly as possible and prepare for the potential onslaught of men. So, and one thing I could do as well is make a vassal of some kind. Um, let's actually look at, not my camp, I don't want, I don't want camp. A uh, report, honor rating, I'm at negative two. Um, in terms of right to rule, I actually don't know where that, that number is at. Is it right here? Right to rule. Perfect, 42. That means I can actually do things a little bit quicker. My honor rating, though, is low. Which I need to get that up, actually. And there's a few ways to do that. So we, we need to go about that. I love how Raw Mola doesn't like us. That's too bad. Alright. Um, let's actually see if we can recruit from here again. Nope, we can't. Um, and we got a party of 108 coming towards us. Uh, so we need to run. And we do have uh, Nick Seto who can level up right now, so let's uh, let's go in and level you up, good sir. Um, and we could create some vassals. I might only create one or two right now because we're so small. Um, sometimes it's not a good idea to create more. Let's uh, increase your surgery skill. Why not? I don't know. We don't really have a dozen medic, and that might be good to have. Alright, this is man oh manhunters. Okay, we're good with manhunters. Okay, let's recruit men and three. Seriously, just three. <sighs> okay, let's uh go south then. Recruit. One thing I could go is buy supplies from the peasants, see what they have. They do have salt, which let's, uh, I think that's two. Yeah, that's actually perfect. We just pay one. Now let's do that. Because I don't want to carry around all these guns all the time. I actually want to make something from it, and I can sell salt, so. 
consider that a good thing. Alright, let's come down here and go to Bolin. Or however you pronounce that. Declaration of War. The Confederate States of Bolin has declared war against the Confederation Confederate Empire of Crocolicious. <laughs> That's not good, guys. That's really not good. And we're only recruiting three men at a time, which is a perfect numbers right there, guys. Perfect. It's perfect. I don't think our empire is going to last too long, guys. I guess I'm an emperor, too. I didn't really know that until just now. So, we're an emperor. We got some refugees. Punks. Alright, let's keep moving on up. This is not good, guys. We might be actually taken out here pretty quickly. We got 8,000. What? Look how much money we actually get. That's actually really good. I don't care if they take me out. I mean, right now I don't. Well, I do, but I really hope. Um, you receive a peace offer from the Reich. Yeah! Let's, let's make peace. Wait, what was that last one? Notes. Uh, let's go to factions real quick, and let's go to my empire. Yeah, I, I need to change the name of this, but you guys can put that down below. Confederate Empire of Quickalish is at war with the Republic of the Nords and Balon. To regain lost territory, the fighting has begun. What? What lost territory? Baloney. Okay, let's see if we can recruit some volunteers here. Perfect. That's what I needed. 28 men. If we can get that more frequently, that would be great. So let's go towards Suno. Recruit. No one. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's sell our guns here. Alright, let's go to the goods. Um, gonna sell all these guns. Get 15, eight, 1,500 right now. Okay, that's uh, looking pretty good. Um, I might be able to sell one more and then pick up some bread or something. And maybe some grain. Okay. I think that's good. Sell one more. Okay, let's go to the horse merchants. And we'll just sell up to about a thousand. Uh, that's probably, yep, it's gonna go over. Uh, let's uh, sell that. Let's go to the armor. Got another thousand we can sell. Okay. And then arms. Another thousand. I don't know if they can drink this stuff. It, it looks like they haven't even touched it yet, so I'm kind of curious about that. Okay, we sold all those. Um, we might want more food, actually. I'm just going to get a few more, a little bit more food, guys. Somehow I got pottery. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a thief, guys. Okay, uh, you can't eat that for some reason. It's not cabbage in this game. So, anyways, we've got 90 men. And we dropped by those two towns. Um, we need to get back to our place quickly. I kind of want to recruit as many as I can. Let's, uh, yeah, we'll accept that offer. We need to get as many people into that place as humanly possible, as quickly as possible, too. We got 190 right there. Um, well, 19, I should say. 109 total. Uh, moving on up. The volunteers we got 28 more perfect and we got some training done so let's uh level up as much as we can guys this is gonna be crazy i don't know if we're gonna be able to hold this um these guys are useless troops they're the ones with the flag so i'm gonna avoid them if i can uh, let's level up all you guys okay perfect all right let's uh start heading back real quick i guess we could go attack these forest bandits if we want to they might lead us into the wrong lands, which, honestly, they're actually not leading us into the wrong lands. Okay, so that's that's fine then. 
Okay, let's see here. Okay, Reezy. And that one's just been looted. Reezy's being raided right now. Let's actually see if we can go fight them off real quick. Um, see how big their party is. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Where is he at? You guys suck. <laughs> Uh, let's go to the TA. Okay, our, our party is leveled up once again, guys, which is great. So we'll get a few right there, get a few right there. And 27, perfect. Okay. Uh, let's go into the town. We got 140 here, which is actually pretty darn good, in my opinion. Uh, we can get some moose militia. I'm actually going to hire these guys because I know there's only four of them, but... We needed everybody we can get. Alright, can we sell things? Okay, we can finally sell stuff again here. So I'm going to do that. Um, we can get that much. I'm going to sell this L and Vodka because I don't think it's really doing anything. Uh, move that up. Sell the salt um, and the pottery. We don't need that. Um, I might grab some more food. Maybe a different variety of food. Maybe cheese and smoked fish. Dried meat. Okay, um, we got... 1300 right there so that's perfect guys I think we got a lot of good things going for us for the most part um, I might put some more men into this place if I can um, let's put some like good units if I can mercenary gunmen I'm sure that's actually a decent unit um, let's get the moose militia why not you guys are all gonna go in you're gonna go in but I'm thinking if we have decent units in here and just keep retraining these guys to be a little bit better um, that would be very beneficial for us. Not only that, some of these, uh, Reich units have grenades, <laughs> and you know how that is in close proximity. Yeah, it's not, it's not pretty. It can be bad for my company, it could also be really good for them too. It's really bad for the other people. So, um, anyways, I'm gonna keep dropping these guys in here. I might give some of these guys away. Okay. I'm going to call it good right there. Our party is now a lot smaller, but um, our garrison is probably around 200 now. Yeah, 201. That is amazing. And then we'll just hang around in the places that, that, have, um, that we're at peace with and just keep recruiting the living daylights out of them come back unload men and we're gonna see if we can get a few vassals let me know who you think would be a good vassal um, I might want to actually go <laughs> I might want to actually update some of their clothing and stuff uh, now that I have a little bit more money look at that I have 23,000 that's awesome okay guys thank you guys so much hopefully hopefully you have enjoyed if you have feel free to give this episode a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time let me know in the comments below what name I should call this uh, Empire Kingdom Republic uh, whatever it is okay I appreciate that you guys rock and this is Kirk Lucius checking out